Welcome to Circuit of the Americas for the Triple Den Grand Prix, the schedule's first and biggest road course. Let's take a look at our starting grid. In row 1, Ryan Laney and Bobby Swift, the winner of the last two races. In row 2, Cal Weathers and Brian Spark, the winner at the Indy Road Course last year. In row 3, rookies and teammates Master Dragon 4000 and Colin Bargain. In row 4, Terry Cargas in his first start of the year and Phil Tankson. In row 5, Daniel Suarez, the winner at the Charlotte Roval last year, and Jackson Storm. In row 6, Bubba Wheelhouse and Chase Racelot. In row 7, Steve LePage and rookie Brandon Powercar. In row 8, JD McPillar and Cruz Ramirez. In row 9, Conrad Camber and Ace J. Hollis. And in row 10, Lightning McQueen due to him having a terrible run in qualifying, so hopefully we see the real Lightning McQueen today. Here's the race format, 3 laps, 10.75 miles around the 3.58 mile track with 20 turns as you can see in the screen and pit road speed is 40 miles per hour. The pace car is off the pits and here we go from turn 20 with Bobby Swift and Ryan Laney in the pole. The anticipation is here and here they go through the restart zone. Once they cross it the green flag will be in the air here at Circuit of the Americas. Cal Weathers is making it three wide already in the front of the pack. And like McQueen is, has forgot to hit the brakes, he's going to hit somebody, and he goes airborne. He hits the 42 and the 41. Now here's a side-by-side -side for the lead. We're about to see what happens, so the, the race is still going to be on the left. Alright, here's what happened. Lightning McQueen forgot to hit the brakes directly before they, the car has gone up. And he hits the... 42 and 41. Hmm, that's gonna cost them a bunch of pos position and momentum. Here they come through the S's. Ryan Laney in the lead. Master Dragon 4000 is in fourth place, along with his teammate Colin Bargain in sixth place. This is one of the sharpest turns here. Now here you go through the long straightaway. Lightning McQueen is catching up behind them, as you get, as you've seen earlier. Now they're hitting the brakes once they enter that turn. Another sharp one. So you, if you overshoot it, you're gonna hit a wall and your day is done. Ryan Spark, the Indy Road Course winner trying to go after the number 21 Ryan Laney. Bobby Swift trying to make it from a three in a row. But instead this road course is a challenge for him. You see the 41 Master Dragon 4000 running up pretty good against the other drivers. It's his best of a run since Atlanta. Now here they come through the front straightaway. And they're going to complete lap 1. 2 minutes and 30 seconds is usually the average time around here. And here they come through that really sharp turn and turn one and Bo wheelhouse is in the pits as you can see from the left of the screen and like McQueen has gone up to ninth place Bubba wheelhouse is going to the pits I feel like it's fuel related he forgot to refuel before the race started and here he goes out once Bubba wheelhouse is 
out of the pits, we're going to the halfway jam. Contact! Master Dragon 4000 gets turned by the 95 of Lightning McQueen. Both of them stop. Lightning McQueen has gone through the sand and is able to exit. The 41 is not happy with the number 95. Let's see if that beef will still continue throughout the race. Lightning McQueen with some minimal damage, just some damage to the paint. Let's see what just happened on the right. Yep, the 95 forgot to hit the brakes again. Where's the real Light McQueen? Are we seeing a fake one or Light McQueen not just being himself? Alright, here's the battle for fourth place Colin Bargain versus Phil Tankson. That's a nice paint scheme for the number 10 of Colin Bargain. Here comes Light McQueen recovering from that hit against the number 41 of Master Dragon 4000, which is Colin Bargain's teammate. Battle for fourth place side by side. Light McQueen takes fourth place. Nope, it's Tankson. Am I right? Am I right? Yep. Yep, McQueen takes fourth place. Now in fifth, Phil Tankson. Ryan Laney in the lead. Oh, it's two laps to go already. So once they cross the start finish line again, they're gonna it's gonna be white flag. Now here we go. White flag. One more time around Circuit of the Americas. Ryan Laney still has that momentum to win this race. The 52 of Ryan Spark trying to catch up so he'd be able to claim his first career win. Also the 21. First career win of the year I meant earlier. Sorry. Here comes Light McQueen behind the top three. So we're seeing the real Lightning McQueen, so we're not watching a fake one. This camera looks like it's going to be damaged, the one that's in the ground. The 21 Ryan Laney has some momentum. He has took in the pole in Las Vegas a few weeks ago. He's trying to win a race, so he'll be able to be locked into the playoffs. Now here they go through that sharp turn where Master Dragon 4000 had some contact with the number 95 of Light McQueen. Hopefully we don't see a mistake like that again. Here comes Light McQueen and he goes off the course. Now he's coming back in, in the course. Now here they go from that long straightaway for the final time. Light McQueen is trying to catch up to the number 52 and 19 of Bobby Swift. Now here they go through another sharp turn. This track is really tight. Now here they go through. Hmm, I feel like it's like turn. Yeah, I don't know what turn is it. There's a bunch of turns. There's there's like 20 turns. Like like I said earlier before the show started. Light McQueen still trying to catch up, but instead. It's a 52 and 19, having enough power to, to go against number 21. Now, coming out of turn number 19 and entering turn number 20. Ryan Laney. He is going to win at Circuit of the Americas. And there's the checker flag. Second place Spark. Third Swift. Fourth McQueen. And fifth Tankson. 
congratulations to Ryan Laney winning the Triple Dent Grand Prix here at Circuit of the Americas. And Light McQueen, he just redeemed himself from qualifying to the race. But well, Wheelhouse's day is over. What a shame. Here are the official results. Bobby Swift is the fastest car of the day. He didn't win the race, but had some muscle for three, three weeks in a row. So that's mostly impressive for a veteran driver. Next Friday is the Toyota 400 in Richmond, Virginia at 4 p.m. Pacific and 7 p.m. Eastern. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe. This is the Canning Cat Hearn 27, signing out.